Hi, John Lord here. I want to show you how to unlock your Samsung N800 phone today. Or it should work with any other instinct as well, so that you can use it as a tethered modem or a Bluetooth modem. Now, uh, Sprint doesn't want you to do this, and they have recently gotten rid of the tethering plans altogether. But I'm going to show you how to do that, and you won't even have to pay the $40 fee anymore. Just pay for data usage. Okay, here's my N800 phone. As you can tell, it's on. I'm about to connect the data cable to it. It hooks through USB. Now when you connect it to your computer, it will say uh, connected to computer and to make calls, whatever. You want to go ahead and disconnect it. Now when you disconnect it, it's no longer seen as a hard drive to your computer and it will install uh, two different drivers. It will install a modem driver and it will install a diagnostic serial port driver. This is what you want to happen. Uh, Windows Update will have the drivers for it most likely. If not, you might have to download the Sprint Connection software if you can find it. I couldn't find one that listed this phone specifically, but all the CDMA phones use the same driver. Okay. Now on the computer part, after the drivers are installed, I can show you that they're installed right here. Computer System Properties, Vice Manager, Continue, Modem, Samsung CDMA Modem, and if that's in there, the others are. You want to install and run a program called CDMA Workshop. Here it is right here. Okay. First thing you do is check your ports. It will say that the diagnostic port is on COM4. So I go here and select COM4, connect, read. Your phone information will show up over here. Now if you've done that, all you have to do is go over to security and hit read here. And the number that appears in this box is a six digit security code for your phone. This is uh, the master unlock code for your phone. That's all you need to use the PC for is get that code number. Okay, now you go to the phone go to dialer to unlock it again dialer and you have to type in debug menu but like this pound pound d e b u g m e n u pound it will ask for the current code and that's the code that you just read two seven five four six nine for this phone but it's different for every phone okay now you look through here and you'll see right there toggle NAI you go in there and you turn it off and you will be able to use it as a tethered modem after that that's all you gotta do toggling the NAI changes the way the phone logs onto the internet when it's, teth when it's tethered it'll be something like uh, your email address at sprintpcs.com well if you have it tethered it'll say so and so at vision.sprintpcs.com and what shutting off the NAI does is it gets rid of the vision dot point part and Sprint no longer knows that you're using a tethered phone and it will let you use data normally I unlocked this phone so I could tether my Samsung N800 portable internet computer to it well I hope uh, you found this video useful and use it for your own personal uses and uh, have a nice day.